took away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect. You can play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful day of checking these buttons. We got a lot to talk about. Chapters down below if you want to skip around. And of course, it is HT, the most glorious day of the week. And what else is glorious is that sub button right there. If you want to go ahead and click on it, I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. There you go. Congratulations. Welcome to the Butt Check family. Anyway, so without further ado, y'all already know we got to check these buttons on the most glorious day of the week. Ladies and gents, let's go. All right, first up for them, what the hell is going on with these Street Fighter 6 servers? Buttons that need to be checked. So one of the things that have always been praised, right, for the lifespan of Street Fighter 6 is the online netcode, right? A lot of people praised it since the very beginning. Uh, compared to other games that have come out and say, you know what, especially compared to Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 6 online play seems pretty damn legit. Up until recently, right, people are talking about, I guess, the last maintenance that went on. Not really sure what's going on, but you got pros and casuals both speaking out, talking about right now it is dog shit. Something's, something's wrong, let's get these buttons. All right, starting right here with Big Bird himself saying, are the Street Fighter 6 servers good for anyone? For me, I played with Angry Bird and the shit goes to five frame rollback, then it comes back to zero. Anyone else facing this issue, right? So other people responding like Mena saying, it is so bad right now. Continuing with Chris T saying, I've been tweeting about this for the past three weeks, bro. It's been horrendous. And you can see his tweet down below. Uh, basically quoting himself, right? Continuing on from right there, uh, you got F word saying, I don't know what's happened recently, but the last week has been super inconsistent for me too, getting exactly the same in a load of random disconnects, right? Um, I see Samurai actually tagging one of the devs, you know, from Capcom saying, well, maybe you guys could pay attention to this. Others are agreeing with it as well. And adding to it saying, man, I thought I was the only one to no issue here, chief. So some people on the other side are like, well, I don't really see an issue on my side. I got them fiber optics. Uh, but others are like, yep, yeah, people have been complaining about the CFN since the last update. Something is definitely not right. So very interesting, right? Because it'd be one thing um, if you just had a couple of people, but to see people that are actually qualified, pros, that are actually qualified for the biggest damn cap cup ever, right? Saying, no, nah, it's dog shit. Something is amiss, it's inconsistent. Some people believe it's after the last, you know, update. I don't know, but then you got some people saying, no, I got them clean fiber optics, I'm, I'm hardwired, everything's ready to go. But you would imagine that a lot of these pros got the same setup, right? So I don't know, it's definitely weird that pros and casuals are coming out saying, nah, there's something wrong, something happened, especially this close. We're right around the corner, right? We're with days from with like the LCQ and Cap Cup. It's going down the end of this month. I can't wait. I really wanna see if Capcom releases some kind of statement though. Either way, how y'all feeling? All right, next up from when things get too heated at the tournament, buttons that need to be checked. This one, is a very interesting story, right? I was tagged in this a lot over the weekend. Um, so there's a player, I'll put his information on the screen right now and down below. Once again, as always, check out the content creators. Their information is down below. Show them some love. So you got BBC Morty, right? Uh, half owner of the Smoke Sessions. And of course, I put Smoke Sessions down below as well. And apparently, he's from Dallas as well. That's what's up. So I'll put his information in Twitch and whatnot. Definitely check it out. So, okay, let's go ahead and unpack this because there's a lot. Definitely some shots fired, right? But long story short, uh, BBC Morty was at a tournament. They were playing some Tekken. Apparently, his opponent comes from the Smash community. There were some words exchanged. They got in each other's faces and escalated quick. And from there, a whole lot happened. So trust me, just stay, stay tuned to the ending because there's definitely a conclusion. And side note, please, we're definitely, we're not doing this so you, anybody can go feel like they have to contact these players or DM or any talk shit. We're not about that. We're not about bullying or dogpiling or nothing like that. Simply presenting the news, all right? That's it. Okay, so it starts right here. BBC's opponent, right, from the Smash community is a player by the name of Burr or at the Gingerbird. So right here, his opponent slash Burr said, went to my first suplex and my top eight qualifier took the round when I paused during him hitting me with Rage Drive, which is fine, but then he flipped out on me and Lauren when she called him cringe and started calling her baby and it was the most weirdo shit great first time adding to it down below saying maybe i'm soft because i'm a smasher but everybody seemed okay with it too bunch of virgins playing fgc's that ain't ever spoken to a woman i guess 
damn, right? But you got other people responding saying, cool that you can just not mention anything that you did and words and things in a way, or were things in a way that implies something completely different to what actually happened and think you can get away with it by not mentioning them by name. He responds to that, right? Saying, okay, I didn't feel the need to mention the fact that I got up in his face because who wouldn't get in somebody's face for disrespecting their friend? It's trash talk, like he said. I respect all the FGC crew. They're dope as fuck, but this shit was weird and is protected? Others are like, wait, you got up in dude's face and you didn't mention that in the original story. That seems like pertinent information. And it goes deeper right here. Some are saying, dog, I don't think it's cool that you're painting my friend in a bad light. You think the rules are lame, but off Line fighting games have rules. Welcome to Tekken. You just gotta hold that. You're making it sound like Morty was going out of his way to be a creep. Then Burr responds to that, right? Saying, I didn't name drop your friend or anything, just sharing my experience. Not at all did I lie. Those are the things that happen. If you feel the need to defend your actions or make a vlog about it or make it like it had anything to do with the game, that's proof y'all weird. Then they respond back to that, right? Saying, absolutely, I would say something because you're still painting my friend in a bad light. And if I was him, I would be doing the same thing. Like how you tweeted the experience you had, he's doing the same. How is that weird? Burr responds saying, actually, you're right. He deserves to say what he feels happened. Sorry I'm quick to get frustrated in defense of my friend too. Like, I replied to him, I don't dislike y'all or anything. I love the trash talk. I just wish he kept her out of it. Okay, so what we could pick up so far, we had BBC Morty, right? They were running some Tekken. The Smash player, uh, AKA Burr, was playing, and then Burr brought a friend with him, right? Well, apparently he's saying that BBC Morty addressed her in some type of way, and it wasn't about the game. He got pissed, got in each other's faces, right? That's what I'm picking up so far. Then get your damn scuba gear ready, cause it gets even deeper. You got BBC Morty responding to this, right? Saying, you really want me to air it out, huh? Give me 30 minutes, damn. To the most beautiful moment in life, better than the deed, better than the memory, the moment of anticipation. Now I know your ass did not just go on Twitter and try to sit there and talk about that small, insignificant ass shit that happened. So I'm gonna run it down to exactly what happened said last night. What happened was, this man allowed me to come back the first game and he was up two rounds, it's, it's Tekken. He's up two rounds in the first game. I came back, skimmed and damn the booty bopped him, Took that game, bet cool. Second game come around. He's up two games. I win enough. I went, I was, I'm on my way to come back. Cause I know I can bust his ass. But that is how I. I'm coming up, one back, then all of a sudden in the midst of me coming back in that fourth game, he presses start doing my rage art. Me being me, I'm like, this is losers. I don't know you like that. So I ain't gotta give you the pass, my G. So I exercise the rule and say, hey bro, that's my round. So we gonna go on to game five. That's what it was. Round five and game two. That's what we gonna do. So he's sitting there like, okay, he accepted it, took it, and then his lady friend, who's sitting there, she like getting on hoopity bomb the bang gang over the issue. I'm like, baby, them's the rules. That's all I said to her. I said, them the rules, baby. That's just how it works. I kept on playing. She started telling me, shut the fuck up. I'm like, I know you must be talking to the wind because you so ain't talking to me. I ain't finna sit there and let nobody tell me to shut the fuck up. You telling me to keep fucking talking at that point. I ain't raised like that. I'm gonna respond. And I respond with, well, baby, maybe you should be helping him because his ass is getting beat right now. And she's gonna call me free. I'm like, he the one who free? He the one who letting me come back? What are you talking about? And he's starting to get mad. He's talking about, don't you disrespect her? Talk to her like that? I'm sitting there like, what did I even say? What that was disrespectful, my G? And then let's talk about how you got up in my face, sitting there screaming and all that shouting and stuff, and everybody's sitting there looking like you about to punch me and stuff, and had to come and separate you from me. I'm sitting over there in the corner, I'm like, I knew you wasn't gonna swing, but at the same time, you did not have to get into my face, because at the end of the day, the Lord was blessing you, because anybody else would have really decked your ass, bruh. And, but me being me, I know I'm a grown man and I know what I can do, but I know I was raised, as long as they don't put their hands on you, you don't put their hands on them. Words can fly, and I'm a word fly. I'm a word smell. But I ain't gonna put my hands on you unless you touch me, bro. I'm gonna keep it G, because I ain't got time for all that riffraff. I'm gonna keep it in the game. But you were definitely out of line for what you did, bro. And I know for a fact, I don't know why you admitted what you did, but it is what it is. I'm gonna take it how it goes. What did I even say? I just told her, dim the rules, baby, and that's it. 
That's all I ever said to that woman. So, and then on top of that, even the T.O. comes by and said, yes, that's a rule. He can exercise that. That's just the way it goes. He wants to sit there all because it's lame. Bro, ain't nobody got time for that shit. Real talk. A lot of you, you must be new to this shit. And then on top of that, you want to talk about, oh my God, you're trash talking this shit. It's the, this is the fighting game community. I understand you are a smasher. I don't know if y'all talk shit, talk, do anything like that over there. But over here, we get active. We get active. We don't feel ashamed about letting a motherfucker know, I'm going to beat your ass, my brother. Guaranteed. I'll lose to you, O2, and I'll still say, I guarantee I'll beat your ass next time. Because that's what we do. That's how we live. And if you can't get with that, don't sit there and try to blame Suplex for that shit, bro. We all was on the same page. We all trash talk. We all shit talk. You just knew here. You said it yourself. So if you can't get with what is going on, then I'm sorry. We, it ain't for you. Then, then I hear through the grapevine, you talking about you want to pop off on me next time. The way that you talked, it felt like you wouldn't even come back the next time. So why the fuck you want to come back to a place you want to feel as though you unwelcome? As though they ain't treating you fair. Shut the hell up. Ain't nobody got time for that dumb ass shit, bruh. It's either you want to play or lay. Either you got the skills or bit you ain't got the bills. That's how it work here. So if you want to play me, you ain't got to wait for next time. I'm good anytime. Money match me, I'll put 50 bones on your head and guarantee you make it dead. Fuck out my face, bitch. Damn! Oh, shit! Damn, cut, cut the tape! Cut the tape! Okay, son of a bitch, that was close. I almost got hit by that one. Anyway, look, there's a lot. There's a lot there. Now you got a, a vivid picture of what's actually happening. Um, Burr actually responds to this again saying, yeah, I got up in your face. I didn't swing. I told you to back off and stop talking to us. You were being weird as fuck, at least in our eyes. Maybe you roll different. That's fine. Neither of us hate you or think you're a bad person. Just that you really pushed it. I did too. Adding this saying, whenever you want to stop making it about the game or being trash talk, go ahead. The issue was how you treated Lauren. You don't know her and you were speaking to her and she wasn't speaking to you until you called her baby in game no problem but the moment you kept going out of game it became an issue and then it ain't over because morty responds again let's go howdy neighbor hope you're having a wonderful super bowl sunday but i'm gonna come and interject in on your sports festivities to come and air somebody ass out like i'm patrick mahomes throwing a fucking touchdown pass let's get it so so she want to sit there and try to say it's all about something outside the game. My G, I got something going on for you. You're not even outside. You're not even in the game to what you're speaking about. Because when I called, when I said to her, dim the rules, baby, and even when I said baby, she never responded with, please don't call me baby. Please do not refer to me as that. No, everybody there did not hear her say those words. She did not tell me, hey, can you not call me that? I would appreciate if you didn't. And if she did say that, I would have said, my bad, that's just the way I speak. I apologize, ain't mean nothing like that about it. And it would have been the end of the day and I still would have came up and stopped talking my shit. But at the same time, I would have addressed her feeling uncomfortable with me referring her to that. But nobody heard her say those fucking words of, please don't call me baby, please don't do that. No, no, none of those words were fucking said. But you know what was said? You want to know what's, what's said? When I said, hey, yo, this your man's. Why are you not going hard for him? You want to know what she said? <laughs> this ain't my boyfriend. I had a perplexed look on my face. Because I'm like, why the fuck are you going so hard for a man you ain't even claiming? And why are you going so hard for a woman that ain't even going to claim you? Publicly. You want to know what I think what it was? You had a problem with her call, me calling her baby because your ass can't. I heard about it. That's your ex. I'm telling you, I know things about you more than you know about me, boy, boy. I'm telling you. You could have left it at what it was and what it would be because I've been looking at what you've been responding to, folks, and you come off as the fucking weirdo. I'm telling you this right now, bro. I am a peace-loving person. I promote strength, positivity, BBC energy in that fucking order. I don't do anything outside of that. Now, I'm going to tell you just like this. I want you to come out verbatim and tell me what I was said that was disrespectful. Really, I want you to just shut the fuck up. 
go sit in the corner. You dress like you listen to black music, but yet you don't you don't know about African American vernacular when we comes to calling folks just baby out of fucking just shit just because we do that, bro. But yet you got the whole shades on, looking like you a goddamn fucking sun bleach offset. But yet you want to act like that, man? Fuck out my face. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And have a great Super Bowl Sunday. We're out. <laughs> this. <laughs> At least he finished it. Y'all have a great day. God bless you. Y'all take care. You know, don't drink and drive. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like I said, we do have a conclusion, right? Because Burr actually responds to that saying, bro, can you leave me alone? I replied to plenty of people saying I was in the wrong for getting in your face. Uh, then he named some other people, right? Said, I'd love to have a civil conversation with you because there was clearly a misunderstanding and I moved on. There you have it right there, right? Um, oh, I think he has another one saying, now you're insulting my appearance. So actually he's responding to the latest video saying, now you're insulting my appearance, going personal with my life. We're great, by the way. I have no insecurities about her and acting even more childish when I figured you said your piece and we'd be able to chill next time. I hope you have a good Sunday. Enjoy the game and spend some time with your family. If you ever want to have a cordial conversation, my DMs or anything are open and there you have it. I was actually talking to my wife about this as well because I wanted a woman's perspective as far as like, would you find this offensive, right? And I think it comes down to this. I think it comes down to the situation, who, when, and where, right? Because a lot of times we hear that all the time. Morty does have a point. Right, when he's saying like, that's just the way people talk, right? We call each other baby all the time. I call fucking grown ass men baby <laughs> all the time. I just think it's funny. It's like, come on baby, what's up baby? It's me, baby. I say it like that. Obviously, if you watch the channel long enough, you know I, I say weird shit. But how many times have you seen it, right? Have you went to the store? Have you went to church? Just a all, random stranger will call you honey, baby. I mean, your damn waiter at fucking DGI Fridays or Saltgrass, they actually call you honey and baby, honey bun, all this shit while they're taking your order. So I could see the point that Morty was trying to make like, yo, how are you gonna get offended off of this? I didn't call her out her name. If she would have said it, I would apologize to it, but nobody ever made it a point that me calling her baby was a thing because this is the way I talk. Let's be real, man. If you're still hanging out with an ex, uh, somebody you consider a friend, I don't, it doesn't even matter if you're trying to get back with them or not. You know what I'm saying? If you're bringing them to an event, you're kind of, it's like chivalry, right? You're gonna kind of feel like you're taking up for them. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Let me back up because I know a lot of people right now might be thinking that Burr was being a captain saver or out of pocket or something like that. I don't think sticking up for your friend, whether it's your ex or your current girlfriend, I don't think sticking up for somebody that you truly care for is a bad thing. I really don't. But it's all about timing, right? This was the wrong time. You're in a tournament. It seems to be, from what I could tell, it seems to be in the game. So I don't see anything that would call for getting in somebody's face to the point where you act like you wanna fight them. You know what I'm saying? If you're at a tournament, this is not proper tournament etiquette. If you're going to it, because even he admitted, he said, this is my first one. He said that. And he said, maybe I'm soft. He said that. He was like, I'm from the Smash community. He said that, right? So yes, like somebody else said in the comments, welcome to Tekken. <laughs> welcome to FGC, because over here, we get active. But what I do like, and this is what I was saying in the conclusion, I'm not just trying to shit on Bird, right? Because I think his heart was trying to be in the right place at the end, because he kept saying like, let's get past it, or I admit I was sorry, I shouldn't have got in your face. The other part, they're not gonna agree on, obviously. They're, they're just gonna have to agree to disagree and keep it pushing, and I hope Everybody learns from this that, yeah, this is not proper tournament etiquette. You can't do that shit. So there you have it. And like I said, don't feel the need to go look for anybody or anything like that because they handled it. These dudes like basically squashed it beneath, between themselves. I don't see any other further posts at this time. It just happened the other day, right? But maybe they run it. There's a good chance. Maybe they run into each other again at another tournament in a bracket. Hey, and maybe next time they could actually laugh about it and squash the shit. That's what we're hoping for. How y'all feel it? Let me know. There it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love, man. And of course, it is HT, the most glorious day of the week. We got to give a shout out to the cosplay. The information down below. Definitely check it out. Trust me. Definitely check her out. By the name of Soryu Gegi Cosplay. I feel like I'm butchering that. Anyway, pretty big following, right? I'm going to put the cosplay on the screen right now. Bam! Damn. That, I don't even know what this character is. I think it's Tekken, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is, uh, this is... 
This is a good. This is good. This is good. And, oh, there's another one. Oh, that's even better. Okay, this is all good. And there it is one more time. Thank you guys for everything. We will see you soon. If not tomorrow, definitely the next day. More than likely, it'll be tomorrow. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. So you can. And now for that moment of FGC bliss. So this one right here is from somebody by the name of at Victory Taste. Posted this saying, great steam poppy. Learned a lot about high level bear play in Tekken 8 tagging sour piggy. Enjoy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what being a bear is all about.